Hola Aries, welcome to your weekly reading for the period of February 15th to February 21st. Keep in mind this is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM and we can easily set that up. Let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides of the Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Aries for the period of March 15th to March 21st. What do you see? What do they need to know? To reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to divine through your messages. Aries, March 15th to March 21st. What do you see? What do they need to know? Can you please show me general energies for Aries from March 15th to the 21st? We have the Ten of Wands and the Upright. Click on the link below for your weekly extra based on the lovers. And in that spread, we'll answer who is your soulmate? How can you improve that connection? And what lesson can you learn from that love? Seven of Swords in reverse is in your challenge position. In my playlist... 2021 Sun Moon Predictions. What is your ideal career based on your mid-heaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Advice. We have the Justice card in the upright. Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate. Otherwise, we end on the King of Swords in the upright. I think this might be a work situation. Um, <laughs> it, it could... I, I mean, apply as needed, but I'm getting, for general energies, you are doing more than your share of stuff. You're literally working your ass off. Um, I feel like, you know, you'll be getting done. You know, so imagine you're at your desk and you're just finishing up like those last three folders and then someone comes in and just piles like a bunch of folders on top of you. are like, what? And they're like, oh, well, Jane called out. So you have to take on her stuff. So do you mind? Is that going to be a problem? I hope that's not going to be a problem. Um, <laughs> and you're just like, oh, okay. So, I mean, I feel like you guys are definitely taking like the, the weight of the world on your shoulders. I mean, it doesn't have to be career I could see that maybe where you're living you're doing more than your share of the chores maybe in the relationship you're doing more than your share of the work whatever it is you guys are definitely taking on too much and you shouldn't um if you can delegate to other people then delegate to other people um you know but just know that you are going to be very tired very stressed out very exhausted this week probably overwhelmed too is what I'm seeing now, in the challenge position, we have the person who is the offender, the person who is kind of doing this to you, I feel like, whether it's a boss or, a, or a, you know, a, a manager, a co-worker, you know, family member, what have you. And you can't, the, the, the problem is you can't kind of like expose them for what they're doing to you. So it's almost like you know that what they're doing is, isn't ethical, it isn't moral, that they shouldn't be doing it but you're having a hard time kind of catching them or proving to other people that what they're doing, um, you know, isn't the right thing to do. And they're definitely like crapping on you. So I think um, you really want, do want to reveal to somebody, um, but it could be a situation where if you do that, then you're putting your job at risk or what have you, um, you know, a situation like that. But that's your, that's your challenge. And that's probably your frustration that, oh, you know, this person's doing this to you, but there's nothing you can kind of do about it advice we have the justice card in the upright so for some of you if this is a legal matter pursue legal action <laughs> that's what i'm going to say right off the bat you might want to look into that get a consultation with a lawyer find out that if it's ethically okay if it's morally okay um what they're doing just kind of get you know um get some knowledge on that because because what they might be doing might not be allowed and you might actually have a suit of some sort that you might be able to do so um that being out of the way the the court and the legal aspect um i also got hr for some of you some of you need to march down to hr and say hey this is going on this is outside my job description i'm not okay with it what are you going to do for me and for other people it's just a matter of finding your justice somehow so being an advocate for yourself um speaking up for yourself speaking up for other people and doing the right thing um by the way the justice card is the card of libra if that resonates but that's what i'm getting for the advice now, as you move forward, I feel like you do that because we have the King of Swords in the upright. So some of you are either seeking um, legal counsel, financial counsel of some sort, some advice from somebody who's very smart, someone who's very intellectual in these areas, um, and they're going to kind of advise you on how to move forward. If it's not a person who's doing this, I feel like this is you being the King of Swords and deciding that you're going to do what is best for you, what's the smartest thing for you to do. Um, 
what is the absolute truth here so you can stand in your own you know authenticity um and you're going to take initiative and move forward and say okay i've decided what i'm going to do i'm going to take my emotions out of it and i'm going to just do what needs to be done and be very steely and be very straightforward about it so um you might get to the end of your rope at the end of this week why is it kind of swamp Ten of Swans. A Ten of Swans. <laughs> Why is the Ten of Wands here in the upright for Aries? Who's this person? What's his energy? Additional messages for the Ten of Wands in the upright. Who's it? Yeah, you guys need to rest. <laughs> They're saying um, you haven't been getting any rest. The Four of Swords in the upright is a huge need to regroup. Take yourself out of it. Re-energize. Take that vacation. Um, I don't feel like that's happening. I feel like you're not... Um, making the time to do that or you're not being allowed the time to do that to rest and recover and what you need to do so that you can be productive you're actually just um, being basically worn down to the nub is what I'm getting from that um, why is the seven of swords here and yeah you can't continue on like this so you might want to find out if it's okay or not I don't think it is okay I think someone's taking advantage of you why is the seven of swords here in reverse who's this person what's this energy Okay, you have some sort of history with this person. Either either you've worked here for, you've worked where you work for a really long time. So you've put in a lot of time. So that's part of the challenge. Or you have a lot of history with this person, whether it's a friend, whether it's a relationship or a coworker, or what have you. And I think that is kind of what's holding you back from actually doing something, whatever this past is that um, you have this connection with this person or this entity. So that's the challenge that's actually holding you back. Why is the justice card here in the upright? Who is this person? What's this energy? Additional messages in the justice card in the upright for Aries. Who is this person? What's this energy? Why is the justice card here? All right. So we have the eight of um, eight of pentacles in reverse. And this is an indication to me that, um, you know, not only do you have to seek justice or, you know, what have you, or if there's a legal route or something like that, but um, the Eight of Pentacles indicates to me that you're working way more than you need to, to work. Um, and, and nothing is ever good enough. That's what I'm getting from the Eight of Pentacles. So no matter how, how hard you work, it's never going to be good enough for this entity or this person. So it really is kind of like this black hole. The more you dump into it, the less you're going to have. And as a result, they're letting you know that in this situation, you're going to start losing ambition. You're you're not going to want to, you're not going to want to like do anything. You're not going to feel motivated to do anything because it's so thankless. Um, it's such hard work and really nothing in return. Um, so, you know, you might want to consider that and correct this situation before it gets, before it starts to eat away your soul. Why is the King of Swords in the upright for Aries in regards to how they will move forward? Who is this person? Who is this energy? Why is the King of Swords here in the upright? Yeah, so you can free yourself. So they just swords in reverse. So you can get yourself out of this prison that you're in. Um, you're going to have to take the initiative. You're going to have to talk to this person to kind of um, aid you in getting out of this. They just swords is when you uh, free yourself, liberate yourself from a situation that you have been perpetuating in your past. Um, the same kind of pattern and just kind of putting up with it or what have you. Um, this indicates to me you're going to reflect on all of that and say I'm done and you're just going to kind of move out of it this week so good for you Aries that is what I have for you if it resonates consider a personal reading just send me an email or a DM otherwise click on the link below for your weekly extra based on the lover's card and in that we will answer who is your soulmate how can you improve your connection and what lessons will be learned from that love Playlist, 2021 sun moon predictions. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate. Otherwise, I'll see you in the Vimeo. Adios. Bye.